Hello, everybody, and welcome to another match reaction show of the Late Night Football. But it's a bit of an aggregate show because we're going to do a bit of a roundup of all the games that happened. There's been so much that's happened today. And uh, we were watching games here and there, like trying to figure out what the results were. So it's like, okay, fine, sure. Let's do another episode where we can kind of just uh, concise everything up. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the first one. I think Everton uh, drew with Watford. I think that's a big point for Everton. Watford already relegated, of course, but in the race for the Premier League rele relegation, avoidance, fight. I think Everton might just at one point it's crucial. I think they would have preferred three points, but a point is not bad. They go two points to the leads, who at the moment I don't see where they're going to get points from. So that's the important thing from Everton's point of view is to get that, get a point at least, uh, and keep themselves above the relegation zone. But I think they'll look at it as two points dropped um, in, in, in the final conclusion. And Watford will be happy just to get something out of this and not have another loss on their uh, resume. But uh, it just, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a good game. If, if you have watched it, uh, I didn't watch it. But if you didn't watch it, uh, you know, my commiserations to you because that, that you know, sounds like a painful game to watch. But uh, you know, Watford didn't even have a single shot on target, apparently. So, yeah, that, that would have been painful to watch. But anyway, uh, you know, something for Everton to cling on to and hopefully might be a vital point uh, come the final reckoning. Or might be a vital two points dropped as well. Don't know which way that one will go, but we'll keep an eye on that. Um, how about that? Uh, congratulations to Celtic for winning the Scottish Premiership. I know we don't talk much about Scottish football. We will be doing the the... The watch along for the without watch along, say, but the match reaction for the Europa League final, which will involve Rangers, of course. And I think uh, maybe Celtic will be looking a little bit enviously at Rangers playing in another, another European final. But uh, you know, nonetheless, they take nothing. I mean, they'll, they'll soften the blow with this league title. They lost it last season to Rangers. They won it back again. Hasn't been you know the most clinical of Celtic teams. Hasn't been the most uh, you know uh, the most easy the easy on the eye Celtic team. I don't think they've been very dominant, but. Uh, They've done well to win the Premiership. Congratulations to them again. Finally, having a bit of a challenge again from Rangers would be good. Uh, but I'm sure Rangers will be disappointed that they were that inconsistent because they were leading the race at one point and then they just kind of fell off and allowed Celtic to take over. So that'll be disappointing. But congratulations to Celtic. A draw against Dundee is what allowed them to pick up the title. So that, that was there. Rangers did win as well, 4-1, I believe. But it uh, wasn't enough in the final reckoning um, for them to, to catch uh, Rangers, uh, catch Celtic rather. And so, crash was Celtic, Scottish Premiership title for them. Uh, of course, for Rangers' point of view, Ahmad Diallo got on and scored a goal towards the end there. So, that was something for United fans to cling on to. Something else for United fans to cling on to is uh, Eric Ten Hag and Ajax winning the uh, the Eredivisie title. It's, I believe it's their third in, third in four years. I think it's second in a row. Definitely a fantastic achievement for, uh, for Ajax to, to do that, uh, to win the title. Been a great season for them. You know, I think they'll be a bit disappointed with the Champions League exit, but they've been, and of course, the cup final loss as well, but they've been brilliant in the league. And I mean, you know, there's somebody joked there <laughs> that, uh, uh, you know, it's the last title that uh, Eric Tenag is going to win for a while. Probably true, actually. Probably he's not going to win something for the next, I don't think he's going to win anything for the next two or three years. Uh, if, he's at, if he's at United that long, I don't think he's going to win anything for the next two or three years at United at least. So, but yeah, it's a fantastic achievement and it puts him in good spirits as well. It's good for United as well because he's won the title so he can now focus on the United job. Uh, you know, with, with things are moving, things are happening. This transfer room is happening in the background, which we might have to cover soon. But, uh, you know, definitely something uh, for Ajax fans to celebrate. It's a fantastic achievement to win, uh, to win the Eredivisie title. It's a great Ajax team. Ajax, you know, Tenag, that's something about Tenag, isn't it? He's got two different teams and he's won titles with both. And that's something that bodes well for him and for, you know, Manchester United. But uh, at Ajax, they have a good team. There's some good players, Timber, uh, Anthony as well. And then there's, of course, uh, a few others there as well. Lind, of course, has kind of revitalized himself. Dusan Tadic has kind of revitalized himself. So it's done a lot of work uh, with this team, of course. And, and of course, Haller as well has also, uh, you know, uh, revitalized himself in his career. So definitely things there. Uh, it's not all about just uh, youth promotion, but it's also about, you know, revitalizing their career. So it's done a great job. It's a fantastic job at Ajax. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully you can keep that going and hopefully you'll bring that to uh, to uh, Manchester United. But for the moment, it's fantastic. Gravenberg as well. We're probably going to have to buy in. But uh, yeah, definitely the players want well to watch out for. So, so um, yeah, good, good, good congratulations again to Ajax fans as well. Big congratulations to them for winning the title. Uh, well done. And of course, uh, going forward for tag toy titles, Ivan Perisic lead, led Inter Milan to the Coppa Italia. Over Juventus. Juventus, well, it Inter led 1 0. Juventus, two goals in two minutes. They go 2 1 up. They should have won it. They should have won it at that point. 2 1 up. You expect Juventus to see it out. They couldn't, uh, you know, challenge, you know, convert the penalty. It was Chalanoglu, wasn't it, who came in and converted the penalty. And then Ivan Perisic takes over an extra time, scores two quick goals, quick fire goals. 
and this 4-2 win for, for Inter Milan. A comeback, which shouldn't have been a comeback, it became a comeback. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a massive win for Inter. A good performance as well. Can they use this momentum to win the Serie A title? They're still in there, they're still hanging in there. Uh, you know, and, and so this will definitely give them a boost and maybe maybe lead them to get to, to do a double next season. But uh, you know, congratulations to Twitter fan for Juventus. It's a disappointing season. They're going to finish trophy less. First time apparently in 11 years they're going to finish trophy less, and that's that's a big wake up call for Juventus. Do they need to replace Allegri? Maybe they need to look outside the box. Maybe they need to think of a different manager. Maybe, um, but that team definitely needs a lot of uh, help, and that the team definitely needs a, needs an overall of sorts. Uh, they haven't been good in Serie A. They haven't been good in the Champions League. So, and now they have they were disappointed in the Coppa Italia as well. So, something for them to consider. But uh, congratulations to the fans. Congratulations and well done. And uh, hope you know. I mean, for all Inter fans, the hope will be that uh, they can uh, use this as a boost and and you know maybe go on to win Serie A. They could still win that. So definitely something there. And uh, I mean, finally coming down to it, I, mean, I just put this there. Manchester United on the 18s. They won the FA Youth Cup. I know it's not a big trophy. I know it's not a major trophy. But I tell you what, for you, if you are a United fan and I am a United fan, that's that's as close as it gets to, to having any ray of, of sunshine throughout the season. I mean, it's been such a disappointing season for the first team, but the youth team have done something. After 11 years, actually, United won the Youth Cup. And uh, the two goals for Alejandro Garnacho uh, got a penalty that wasn't a penalty. Let's be honest, it was a penalty. Uh, they beat Nottingham Forest under 18s, by the way, in case of one day. And they got a penalty that wasn't a penalty in uh, the 78th minute, I believe. And, um, you know, that was outside the box. It was going to penalty. No VAR, of course. So there was no overturn the decision. And then, of course, towards the end, Garnacho again scores a nice goal. It's actually took a heavy deflection, but uh, it was a fantastic finish, uh, nonetheless. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's a good result. There's a few players in the United set- youth setup that might, uh, you know, might have some potential. But, I mean, it's still early days to talk about all of that. That's, this is under 18's football. But uh, that we're talking about, but still something for United fans to cling on to. A record cloud, by the way, uh, for an FA Youth Cup final. There was 67,000 attendance, so that's fantastic. And of course, the first Youth Cup uh, win, as I said, after 11 years. And uh, that's, you know, it's, yeah, an important, it's an important part of the history of the club. But congratulations again to the Manchester United under 18 team as well for getting that Youth Cup win. A lot of stars uh, at the game. If you watched it, there was a lot of people in attendance. Alex was there, Dwight York was there, Ryan Giggs, Nicky Budd. It's got a few big stars that were there, uh, legends of the game that were there, and uh, it's good to see. But anyway, uh, that's a quick roundup there. Let me know what you think in the comments about all these games that happened. So many things to keep track of, and you know things are going into overdrive as well. We've got so many things happening as well in the transfer market uh, that you know we're going to keep an eye on. So we'll be there. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, share it as well, and of course do subscribe to our channel if you're new on YouTube, followers on Facebook. Uh, you know so you can get notified of videos as they drop. There's a lot of things happening, and we're going to try to keep on top of those things. So we'll be here as things happen. Uh, but uh, yeah, and, and of course, uh, uh, subscribing to our channel helps us do that. We also appreciate the support, of course, and you can continue to produce more content uh, with your support. So thank you so much. Have a good day or night for the time you're watching this. And uh, we'll, we'll again see you soon. Hopefully not too soon, but we might have to see you soon if some more baking news comes along. But anyway, take care. Bye-bye.